Hey yo, listen up everybody, I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. I just wanted to do a real quick video review of a series that I just discovered. Uh, a series of mystery novels set in World War II. It's the Billy Boyle Mysteries, set in World War II, by James R. Ben. It's about, there's about 13 books in the, in the series so far, and I read this one and loved it, and I immediately ordered the rest of the series, which I've got right here, you can see. Got all the books stacked right here, and they're great. Oh my gosh, I love these things. And they've got great covers too, you know. I mean, look at those covers. Every cover is done by the same artist, They've all got the same similar style, and I love that. I love when they do that. I love when book, I love when publishers keep a similar style to everything. And so far, we're getting that with the Billy Boyle Boyle Billy Boyle series. Who's Billy Boyle? Why is it such a great series? Why did I buy everything based off of just this first book? Because it's awesome. It's awesome. When you discover an awesome book, and then you realize there's 14 other books in the series, you automatically just buy them. You just do. Just do. So this is the only one I've read, and I probably will do a little review of each one of them as I go along and read through the whole series. But I'm so tickled today. I'm just pleased. I'm pleased as punch. Pleased as punch. World War II Mysteries, Billy Boyle. He is a young police officer out of Boston. Billy Boyle. That's who we start with. He's a police officer in Boston. Things are starting to go bad in Europe in 1941. And they and they and the and then he and he's and he's and he gets into the army and they recruit him as a policeman for the army, you know, well one of the one of the army police guys. Can't remember what they're called, but he investigates army stuff for the army. And he's also the nephew of Eisenhower. So he's got that going for him. So he gets all the juicy cases to work on. And he just goes up, and I loved this book because, you know, he he's sent to England. He's never been there before. He's just been a young police cadet in Boston. And I love that part, too, because because James R. Ben, he's done his research on law enforcement, and I'm telling you right now. Within the first couple chapters, I'm like, okay, this writer knows what he's talking about. This writer's doing it. This guy knows what he's talking about. Because he's talking about Billy Boyle. He's kind of, He's a police officer. He's kind of... A, he kind of has connections. Let's so put it that way. Not only with his uncle Eisenhower, but he's got connections in the Boston Police Department. So he rose from just being a police cadet to a street cop to an investigator really fast because he's got connections. His family connections in the police department. And that's the way it works, which is okay because I work in law enforcement myself, and I'm telling you, the way that they do promotions nowadays in police departments it's ridiculous it's all based off of a test on police procedure so you could be the stupidest cop on the planet and make every mistake in the world and have everybody hate your guts but you will promote to sergeant if you pass the written test i mean that's how moronic and i mean what fortune 500 company that wants to make a profit, would ever, ever promote people based off of a written test on company policy. No, you know what they would do? They would go to each department head and say, hey, who in your department's kicking ass? We want to pull that person in for an interview because we got a promotion coming up, right? That's how they do it. So the top of the line people will get, I mean, you don't just give everybody, you don't give everybody, you don't have a fill in the blank test. And you, oh, I just, I can't, oh, folk, oh, people, people, people. And he mentions that in this book. He mentions that in this book, right? That sometimes it can be better to just promote the son of the chief, to be honest with you. And that's kind of what the... <laughs> I mean, you're getting about. I mean, you're getting a better result that way. To be, to, to be quite frank, you're getting a better result than just throwing out a random. I don't know if I've bludgeoned this point to death. But anyway, I like that. So I, I knew right off that 
that this guy was because he, he he talks about promoting he talks about promotion and law enforcement and he nails it on the head right so i was i was impressed within the first few chapters just with the just as we introduce our character in boston as a boston policeman or he's actually an investigator because he moved up the chain because his dad promoted him and i think that's all right i mean i don't even care about that it's better than him taking a test and they mention that anyway I think you get my point. Once he gets to England, his, his uncle is uh, Eisenhower and his uncle sends him off on all of the best, most juicy murder mysteries and everything, at least at least, at least in book one, that is. I'm not going to give away the plot of this too much. Let's just say it's set in Norway and he and it's, uh, has to deal with the Nor Nor Norway's being invaded by the Germans and who's a good Norwegian, who's a bad Norwegian, who's a spy, who's not a spy. There's beautiful women there's like every like every good spy thriller there's like the beautiful women there's the tragic heroes there's there's a lot of and i was surprised at how much just gruesome bloody good world war ii information is in this and i'm a world war ii history buff i mean i've been to a lot of world war ii history sites in france and england and germany and i love this kind of stuff so the fact that there's a dude out there there's james r ben that's writing um books set in world war ii that are actual spy murder mysteries is just I, i'm like i'm over the moon i'm over the moon so this is book one billy boyle after our main character and then each book is uh, named something else but anyway man I, I got a just a little short video to say man go out and get this if you like murder mysteries and you like world war ii history ah oh, uh, yeah, here we go here we go we got it all i give this an eight out of ten a solid eight out of ten